Hello. Oh, hello. I thought we'd bring you out today. It's quite calm. But tomorrow is going to be appalling. We've got 50 odd mile an hour winds coming in. So I thought I'd take the chance to come out over this nature reserve today. I'll show you around the hide. I thought I'd come over here to see if that female hen harry was about. Because you can never get enough hen harrier, can you, in your life. So I brought up Big Bertha out and out here, quartering this nature reserve. This is where it is, right up on the nest. You can see that. right up the top of Ness, near Five Penny. Now our campsite is just over there, but you have to walk all the way down to the beach, all the way along and then all the way back up past the sports centre and football club to get here. So that's about a 25 minute walk, 20 minute walk. But out here is the female hen harrier, flying about looking for prey and she's just disappeared off over there at the moment so I've got the two side windows open because it's been around the back of this hide and flown around over that part of the marshland so you've got a big huge stretch of lock there and out there they've had Concrete in amongst the reeds, water rail, Buick and wo whooper swans, different types of duck. But it's so peaceful here. We left Sammy in the van because she wanted to get a video done today so she can sit there in the torrential rain and wind tomorrow and get that edited for you. As I say, if you haven't been up and seen or over to seen Sammy's YouTube channel, I'll put a little logo up here. And if you go down underneath this video and click more, it will drop down all the bits and pieces and the info about this place, the campsite we're on, Uncle's Croft, and also, also her channel, Sammy's Witchcraft it is which as in witchcrafts we'll be doing today. So go over and show us some love. Got to keep rise out in here. But someone's coming in, I'll come back to you in a minute. So I'm still in here, I didn't record. There's a group of people come in, a gentleman, his wife, and his sister, all from Australia, from Adelaide. I've got family in Adelaide. Yeah, they all come in. And uh, we had a couple of nice sightings. We had a marsh area come through, which I've got some pictures of. And then I turned around and I was looking over there and I see a little black blob pop up. And the hen harrier must have swung around the outside as they come in, went down in the grass, and I got it over there, just sticking his head out of the grass. So that was nice. Had some snipe come through and land in front of me. Really nice, happy days. I'm gonna go for a little wander now, shut the windows. Make it all ship shape in Bristol fashion. I'm gonna go and have a wander back. This is about coming up to two o'clock now. But it's such a lovely day, really still. It's the calm before the storm. Tomorrow is a storm when it's probably got a name. 
<laughs> what is it with these flipping stomps and names, eh? There we go. Anyway, let's get back. So I just thought I'd show you this on the way back. This is the camper van facility, motorhome facility. That's the price list. Okay, there's a cafe here. Temping bowling, I think there's swimming in there and all sorts of stuff. But your facility is there. There's a bin there. There where that hose is, is your chemical waste. And there's a grey waste beside it. And then over on that gate post there, where the yellow thing is, that's your fresh water. So you can fill up here as well. And we are basically over there, right opposite it. So I just popped in. For a packet of what's it? It's a chocolate bar and a drink for my walk home. As I said, it's about 30 minutes from here. But it's a really nice day today. I love days like this. Really is the calm before the storm day. Just a light breeze. And it's very peaceful. Right, let's get back and see what Sammy's up to, eh? Right, I've just got, got back, had our dinner. As I was walking in, the lady that owns the site, Debbie, said, oh, a couple of our campers see a tawny owl sitting on a post and I went tawny owl they're woodland bird there ain't no woodlands here and George phoned up and said do you want to go out there's a place over there we're going to have a look got out of the car and George went what's that only a short eared owl flipping short eared owl Oh my god, you're having a great video this time and you ain't even finished yet. Flipping hell, let's have a look what I've got here. I think I've got it on a post. Here we go. Short eared owl on a post. Quite a distance away. But we're going to have another run around. George has just got his camera out. We're going to have another run around and see if we see it. And you might get another vi bit of video, but then again, in my excitement, you might get some pictures and a bit of footage next. Lucky old lot of yous, like, ya?
What do you reckon on that? Wow. Shoot it out. Unbelievable. If George hadn't picked me up to take me to that little bay over there and gone, what's that? We'd have never seen it. God, it was manic. Jumped in my van, I'd had my camera battery out to charge it, so they're both in the charger. I usually have my pocket. Strapping around in the van, trying to get the bloody battery out. Stuck it in the thing, run up here, it gone. And then all of a sudden it swirled around and come back. Flipping beautiful way. Anyway, I'm just taking a hound out for a walk. And we're gonna take you somewhere else. There's a couple of places I wanna to go to in a local area. And then we're heading down the west coast to go to another campsite. But this one here, Uncle's Croft in Ness, in Five Penny, is stunning. It's flipping beautiful. I mean, look at that. Just let your dog have a run. You got all that there. Nature reserve, flipping owl flying around here, seals down there. All the birds that you would have seen in the last video and the ones in this. Where that be? Brilliant here. Loads more to see. We've still got a long time here to have a mooch around. But it was supposed to have been jolly windy today. Look at that big black cloud. That's just blown over, that is. I looked at the radar map this morning and the big black, horrible, stinky cloud that's raining over there has walloped over us during the night. It never stopped raining all night. So, happy flipping days. Anyway, just bring it in for a walk and then we're off. But as I said, if you're gonna come, come up to the butt of Lewis in a Ness area, come to Uncle's Croft. The people, the place, it's beautiful. And the little beaches up around this area are absolutely fantastic. There's a few little coves you can go and explore. And I'll probably put a bit of footage up at the end of this video, once I've finished, of the little cove that George took me down the way, down the east coast, past the port of Ness. Oh, I'll put up what it's called. I did ask George about 20 times. What's this place called? Some places my Essex accent just cannot pronounce. This is the local museum. Quite a big car park. This is just a drop off car park, but there's a big car park around the side there. We wanted to go in here the other day, pulled up on a Saturday, shut. It's closed Saturdays and Sundays. But it opens at 10, closes at 4. There's a cafe in here, shop, and a museum. Might get me book in here. So we brought you into the museum. And I'm John Paul, JP. JP, okay. Yeah. Nice to meet you, mate. Nice to meet you. So this part here, Peter was just telling me about, is a new part to the museum. And it's all the history of the island. So some of these artifacts here, in this cabinet here, are 4,000 years old. 4,000 years old. Look at that. Cabinet's alarmed as well. All kinds of needles and combs. Bits of antler. Antler tines. Amazing. There's a so as I'm walking around, just pause it if you want to see anything. I'll try to get in as much as I can. It's 
so interesting. Here's the stuff that's in the display cabinet. That's the stuff that's in the middle. Norse period dress pins, bronze dress pins. So this is Neolithic, so New Stone Age. What a beautiful place to come and have a walk round. Got a little show going on there. But George... Did this video up here. That's George. <laughs> And this is the Guga Hunters. So I'm pretty sure this is probably George's family up there. That picture there, George's mum has got in her dining room. I think that's her grandson. But as you can see, what they do is they catch the, the gannets. A gannet has been used, that was George, used historically, and that's a big pile of Guga. There's George in the middle there just getting in. How cool is that, eh? Well, that's a big pile of Guga, all prepared. So the gannet has got the highest fat content of any bird. So they used to use them for food here. And George's ancestors were all Guga hunters. So they used to go out to a big rock, a big like rocky island, and collect the Guga. And then bring it back to the mainland. What a fantastic history. Amazing. And it was all the young gannets. Just before they fledged, they used to catch. And only to take like certain ones. Well, that'll be all George's family now. How flipping great is that, eh? Look at this. <laughs> oh, I love a museum. Sammy's round here, where I thought she'd be. Doing a video at a weaving loan. God, she'll want that. Yeah, look at that. An old tweed weaving loom. And that's what colour the tweed would be. George's sister actually hand looms tweed. She hand looms it. This one's got a step pedal on here, so your feet will go backwards and forwards to actually create the weave. There's the bobbin that go back, goes back and forth. George's sister, I'll put a little bit of video in there, has got one with like a bike chain on it, like a bicycle. She sits on a seat, rides her bike all day, she must be fit. And, uh, yeah, makes the tweed. And, and so lovely of her, she's given Sammy some of these bobbins of thread wool and she's also given a, a swatch of tweed as well how cool is that so it's such a privilege to come up here and have George up here as well because he's just a mine of information he knows the history of the ins and outs and everything here all the old farm tools size and that Peat cutting graft, that's what he used to use to cut the peat. Now I think that's heather, rope. So rope made out of heather. You say you have to make use, and there's your peat. You have to make use of all the resources you've got around you. George is brilliant at that. I know George through bushcraft, and he's a very skilled man. Look at that, and that's a fishing 
basket. Oh yeah. So all them fishing hooks there, look. All handmade line. This is well worth coming to. And here they are unloading the googas here, look, along this quayside here. I took you there the other day, I think. Very interesting. I'll take you to all the best places. Van's park there, that's the car park there. Van's over there, Raven's staring out the window. And there's an art exhibition in here at the moment. Now Georgie's friend has bought, look at that, wow. Georgie's friend has bought this picture. And these are old black houses. These are old, the old buildings that people used to live in on the crofts. And those two houses there, Georgie's friend has bought and he's renovating them. So he's bought this picture to go on the wall in his house because he's got his properties in the background way back when. This is from an old drawing from an old postcard picture from many moons away. Look at that. I love that stack. That's amazing. It's all well, it's got a glisten to it as well. We've put a silver pen on it. How beautiful is that? And that one. That is beautiful. Now, woolly bonnets. And there's a little shop. Oh, let's have a look at this first. Some military stuff. There's a book I want, and hopefully it'll be in here. So I've got to have a good look through this bookcase. I'll quickly show you around here first. Lovely little shop. And then round this corner. Round this corner is a cafe. And we're going to have a spot of breakfast in here, I think. Toilets, all your information, sheets, and there's the cafe. Oh, that's beautiful, isn't it? Look at that. Look at this folk picture. Oh, it's down there too long. We've got a music strike, but we're going to come in here and get something to eat in a second. There she is. <laughs> that old cheesy grin. Right, I'm going to go and look in this shop. have been sponsored this names and addresses there's one from USA there this is a must this place the history that you can learn of this area in that place is incredible absolutely incredible guy that was on the desk Peter thanks very much for telling us and showing us about and giving us this map mate if you go in here, go and see Peter. He's meet and greet, very knowledgeable chap. Lives up the way there. Thanks very much, mate. Anyway, we're off to our next port of call now. Thought I'd pop in there and show you in there. I had in there, in the calf, a Ness black pudding, because they make black pudding just up there. Ness black pudding, bacon and egg soft roll oh my god if you come it you've got to have the black pudding it was flipping delicious i've proper yum yum that down my neck 
had to use about 10 serviettes because it all got in my beard. Anyway, get a bit windy now. We'll take you to the next place. So I'm just trying to hide out the wind. It's a bit windy today. It said it was going to be Hurricane Harry today. Look, it's windy, granted, but it's supposed to rain all day. Look at that, look, it's a flipping blue sky. Now there's places like this all around the island. This is the Curiosity Caravan Handmade Gifts. And there's the, sorry about the wind. And there's the Facebook and Instagram. Please hold the door tight if it's windy. That's every day. Let's go and have a look in here. So this is like an honesty place. So, wow, look at this. This is so cool. Look. Yeah, shut. Curiosity Caravan. So if you buy something, you just put your money in the honesty box. Write in there what you've got. As above, so below. Look at that. Look at that. All pyrographed. That's fantastic. There's a smudge kit there. Sammy likes that. Rune stones. You've got a bag of rune stones there. Wow. And it's double cool. Now, as I said, there's little places like this all around the island. So if you see them, stop. Get out and have a look and spend some money. Because this is a little gem. Look at that, little mushrooms. I might have to buy a mushroom. Good luck, room stones. Hats. Little shawls. St your own standing stones, look. How cool is that? Yeah, stop and buy a little knick-knack. Which is just what I'm going to do now. Oh, look. I know some of them like that. And that. Hey. <laughs> right. Let's have a look. Hey, heck, it's windy. Mm. I had to show you this. Look at this. It's absolutely blowing a gal, but I've got to show you this. Whew. Look at that. Now this is a shilling. There we go. And this is where people would have lived on this island back in the day. Wow. Look at that. The old half, oh, bit, bit, bit of a sausage and egg there. Half broom. Wow. Can you imagine living in this? Take one of these little leaflets to have a read. Look at that. Now, 
Now, can you imagine a couple or a family living in this in today's age? They were hardy folk. There we go, have a read of that. Have a pause and a read if you wish. What a fabulous building there. In this bit, there's not a lot of draft there. And now the chink these rocks out with heather and grass on the outside to stop the drafts coming through. But I reckon in here, once you've stopped all the drafts, you've got your little fire going in the half. I reckon this could have been cosy, you know. How incredible is that? Let's go out. Right. Be prepared for wind. It helps look from the outside. Let's go out this one. <laughs> right, here we go. What an amazing place. Look at that. Hardy, hardy people. Right, you might get a bit of wind here. Look at that for a view. Oh my God. Absolutely fantastic. What have we got here? There we go. Go and have a little read. Take you to all the good places tonight. Wow. Gotta to stop there. Right. What else can we see? <laughs> so we're in a community shop. It's just down the way from the campsite we're gonna stay on. I'll show you that in a little while. But everything you could possibly want in here. They got spam for Dan. Princess Anne, that's close enough. But yeah, all frozen. A little cafe in here, toilets. Drinks, cheese and milk. They do your liquor. All sorts of bits and bobs. It's flipping lovely in here. Little stuff for the dogs, I'll get Raven something. Yeah, everything you could possibly want, isn't it? Good. I love places like this. The guy just commented on my glasses. <laughs> I was like this. He went, are your glasses broken? I went, no, nah, they're not broken. Loads of stuff, all little gifts, crisps, chocolate. All sorts of stuff. I love places like this. We always stop in these places when we're away in areas like this to add some revenue to the area, and you should too. A lot of people stash up on loads of stuff at a supermarket and not buy anything in the local areas, but we do. We spend a bit of money. Oh, I love that puffing cushion. Yeah. Happy days, and the lady went, oh, you smell lovely, patchouli oil. She said, that takes me back to my youth. Everyone says that of sort of our sort of age, you know what I mean? Young, young. Ain't it cool? Right, I'm gonna buy some beverages. So that's the Carlaway Community Shop. Flipping really nice in there. And on Thursday, day out tomorrow, Princess Anne's coming here. Coming here to open the place. That's proper in there. Looks like it might have been an old schoolyard at one point, to be fair. I wouldn't have fancied playing football on that, because 
That is wonky donkey, isn't it? What's a football pitch or netball pitch, whatever it is? Yeah, look at that. But that's where it's set. It's absolutely stunning here. Sam's got the shopping. My shopping. You just picked half of it, and this is where we are. So you head down the road past the campsite we're going to next. And I'll show you there, and this is there. <laughs> Brilliant. And I bought a bottle of single malt from the island. And I'm going to enjoy dreaming that later. Where are you going? So we're on Eiling Fritsch now in Storborst. Beautiful campsite, really nice. I'll show you around. There's pitches down there. Pitches all around the edge. They've all got their own taps on. Pitches all the way around here with their own taps. Electrical hook up. And we're on here, nice hard stand. And outside, similar to the nurseries. We've got this bit of astro turf in front of each van. Very nice, eh? That's your reception. Lovely gentleman and lady own this place. It's really nice. But I'll show you around the facilities. Downing Street, this little toilet block's called. I wonder why. <laughs> Show you in here. So these are the toilets and showers. Two traps. Very clean in here. Very clean, spotless. Big water heater. Go in here. And your shower. Chair. Very clean. And it's a pooned for six minutes. But yeah, it's quite nice, isn't it? Ladies are the same, ladies are next door. I won't show you in there, and they're closed between 11.30 and 1.30. I'll show you the campus kitchen you think. So these are obviously the washing machines. And then over there is like a day room. And those two doors there are other toilets and showers. They're unisex, those ones. It's like a big shower room, each one. Toilet, seat, sink, yada, yada, yada. And the one next to it is like a table and chairs. There's pot washing facilities there. So it's like a camper's kitchen. If you come here with a tent and it's ratting down with rain, you can go in there and there's tables and chairs all set out in there. You can go and sit and eat your dinner in there give you a bit of space to go and read or do whatever you want to do. Yeah, it's flipping beautiful, isn't it? Now, I'm not going to do too much filming here. I'm just going to end this video because there's some dark coloured Land Rovers pulling up because there's a very special VIP coming to the area. And I don't want to be seen walking around with a video camera, but this very special person will be landing on that field tomorrow morning as they are coming to visit the island and a few places here. Very special. See if I can get a clip for the next video and I'll tell you who it is in the next video because then they'll be long gone by then. But it's beautiful campsite, really peaceful here. Toilets and showers, as I showed you, absolutely beautiful. It's a nice little place to sit. 
and it's very peaceful. We're going to go out for a walk in a minute. Sammy's just getting ready. Raven's raring to go. But the countryside along this west coast of Lewis is stunning. Beautiful. Look at that view out the back of the campsite. There's a little river running through there. Beautiful. As I say, as you come in, you'll see this school. As you come in, there's all the kids running around over there having a playtime. Bless their hearts. What a place to grow up in, eh? What a place. And I bet they don't know how lucky they are. Absolutely gorgeous. Any road. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Check if you subscribed as well, because as I said before, YouTube keeps unsubscribing people. And also, the last video I did didn't do very well at all. It's weird that. How can I go from like 25,000 down to like less? That's YouTube as well. Thank you very much. So if you haven't seen my last videos that I've done coming onto this island, pop along and have a watch. Because it's beautiful here. And there's some nice wildlife in them as well. Anyway, I hope you've liked this. You stay safe and stay sane. I'll catch you on the next one. Look after yourselves and each other, eh? See you later. Bye!